You guys, guess what we're talking about today? We are going to be helping you ladies out with something. My friend Owen and I, I'm here with Owen. How's it going? Owen, Owen, we are going to be oh. talking about how to get getting out of the whole dating phase and the whole talking situation we don't like that no one ever likes that it's awkward it's kind of just like we're talking and it's like at what part do you talk about like what are we like when does that conversation comes up and today we're going to be talking about it from the male and female point of view and perspective and what works best Owen. Yes, sir. You're talking. Sir! Sir! Say, sir! Dude, oh. Sorry. SF, that is SF slang. I say, dude, hella, sir. Everything. Everything. I'll forgive it just this one time. All right. But all right. You're talking to this girl. You're at the bar. I'm okay? at the bar. Okay. We're going to paint Owen a scenario. Okay. Everything has to be painted with a scenario. So you're at the bar. Okay. Okay. You meet this girl. And it's like things are going great. Mm -hmm. And then give her the number. You guys exchange numbers. Mm -hmm. and you guys are texting. What? And you know you're looking at you're kind of like okay you know what I kind of like where this is going. Yeah. So how do you do you like when girls respond fast? Because a lot of girls tend to be like I'm not gonna respond too quickly because that looks like I'm like having nothing better to do or like I'm desperate or like they let, they let the text marinate. Yeah. Because bitches let text marinate. They, they do. They do. I I don't know. To me, I like it when someone's a little straightforward. Okay. When I text. It really doesn't like they can take an hour, two hours a day. It really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But if we start like a conversation, I don't want to be like, yeah. So like, how was your day? And then she's telling me about her day, and then she asks me how my day is, and then I respond, and then like three days later, she's like, oh, that's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like, like we were starting a conversation, mm -hmm. like let's keep it going. Yeah. Until like there's a solid end to it. So you like fast responses? I like fast then. responses, yeah. Do you think it looks desperate? Not at all. Because bitches think it's kind of like, oh my god, it looks like I'm desperate or like... Yeah, I, dude, it's it's not desperate at all. It, I mean, it, it shows that the girl's into the dude. Yeah. And as a dude, I think we're just as insecure as anybody else mm -hmm. on the planet. And so, like, if I send a text and then it does, she like doesn't respond. I'm over here sweating. I'm like, oh, I'm she's not fucked. Yeah. She's not interested. I'm she didn't like that. something. She found something she didn't exactly, like. Exactly. Exactly. One night stands. Yeah. Do you if if you're if you're most likely to fuck a girl on the first night? Yeah. Do you see yourself pursuing anything after that? It depends because there's some girls where it's like, okay, she's fucking gorgeous mm -hmm. but her personality is dog water but you can't tell that you from can't just you can't tell that so you're like okay we're both gonna make the most of the situation mm -hmm. we're both very attracted to each other we're gonna go back to her place my place whatever have sex and then either send very dry texts from then on uh -huh. and then eventually ghost each other or there's the other scenario where she's gorgeous, her personality is fucking amazing, mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, I really don't want to have sex with this girl on the first date because that's that might ruin it for me. Yeah. If, if she sucks at sucking, then it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Then it's like, yeah. oh, fuck. But like, if she's like a really nice girl, I don't want to be like, okay, let's turn you over to the dark side or yeah. anything. Yeah. So can you establish when, like, you're on a date with her. Yeah. Do you know, at, like, can you tell at what point, like, you know what? I don't think we're going to have a future. I'm going to try 100%. To, 100%. So, so guys know Dude, then. I, I mean, most guys are idiots. But from me and my friend group and, like, mm -hmm. the dudes that I know, it's all in the conversation. It's okay. once, you, once you, within three sentences, you can be like, all right, this could go somewhere. Okay. Or I'm just digging a hole. Like, I'm just digging myself a grave. So, like, do you... Are there, is there ever a time where, like, you go into the situation, like, you know what? Like, this bitch is everything. Yeah. I kind of want to, like, pursue more. Oh, 100%. And then later you get there, and then, you know, you meet her, and it's kind of just like, okay, things are looking a little bumpy. Oh, yeah. And then how would you even, like, go from... Because I'm sure, like, before you meet her, you're, like, talking about, like, you know, like, getting yeah, to know her. Exactly, just, like, exactly. doing all this, and you're thinking... And you guys are both getting the vibe, like... Yeah things are gonna go somewhere mm -hmm. and so when you meet her and she's having her high hopes like oh my god like i'm really into this guy yeah. he's really into me and you're kind of just like "Ooh, i'm not really about this yeah. how would you address the situation to make it seem like to basically get it because 
what if she's like there she's like oh my god i love this guy and i'm like where's surviving so i don't want to fuck him yeah. you know because she's like we're gonna become something let me yeah. just behave well then that's totally fine then that instead of turning it into a a date with the expectation that you're gonna go have sex at the end just turn it into a date where at the end you know a little bit more about her you know what i mean you would you be upset kind of just like fuck i didn't get some tonight not at all really i feel I'm, like i'm there are so many times where like i'm like i'm, I'm on dates with guys yeah. and then like i f- like we I, we're not dumb like me and him yeah. both feel the vibe it's like getting a little off and i'm like uh like i think of it as like uh i'm already here mm-hmm. i might, might as well i like I'm, we're, the attraction's there i might as well hook up with him yeah but then i feel like when i don't i feel so like what if he's like upset or like what if he drives home all angry and kind of just like ups- and i just feel I feel responsible. Mm-hmm. And so, like, given a man's point of view from your perspective, mm-hmm. if that was the case, would you be upset? But then again, every guy's different. So, yeah. like, we don't I mean, know. Ooh, that's kind of a tough one. Because it's, it kind of, like you said, it differs on the person. Yeah. If it was me, I'd be like, I'm intrigued a little bit more now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she's not, she's not just... She has more to offer mm-hmm. than just her body yeah. and just everything else. She has personality. She has like she has a great smile. Blah blah mm-hmm. blah blah. But then there's some guys that are just like horn dogs that are like, dude, I need this nut or I'm gonna do something bad. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> They're gonna go fucking rob a fucking bank. Exactly. They're gonna <laughs> they rob to a bank. Bust the fucking nut because I just I don't know. There's just so many times where like, and I never know intentions. Like I never know what their intentions are. So like. How would you even establish, like, intentions? Like, do you tell a girl up front, like, hey, listen. Like, okay, you're talking to a girl. And then all of a sudden, through text, you feel like the vibe's not there. You kind of want to just fuck her. Mm-hmm. Would you still lead her on? A little bit. You have to just a little <gasps> bit just to, like, kind of... Because if, if I say there's this girl and I'm like, okay, I need her in my sheets immediately. Yeah. And she's just she's just not into it. Yeah. Then it's... I have to. I need her in my sheets. <laughs> I just picked that up right now. I need the, I need her in my sheets immediately, like fucking now. Yeah. Then you kind of need to like tease yourself a little bit. You know what I mean? Put yourself out there just a little bit more. Say something that like to any other girl you wouldn't normally say. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Try and try and say something like just turn up the sexy notch like a little low. Three percent. Yeah. Turning down three percent. Turning yeah. Up 3%. Turn it up three percent. So then she's like, okay, oh, this guy, this okay, guy that way she gets the idea, like that he just wants, like, yeah. to hook up. And then it's it either goes two ways, where it's either she's into it, mm-hmm. and then you guys go back, yeah, do the deed, or it's like she's not, and then it just becomes really awkward. And to me, those are some of like the funniest days, is when it gets like really awkward. Cause, like, what like, do you mean? Like, like, give me an example. Oh, there was there was one where, uh, I took this girl out to a movie and then five guys and like we were just we <laughs> i were, literally thought like you took her out to like five five, five guys yeah five guys like, i just had like a boot hockey on her exactly <laughs> and i would just watch i was like what am i even doing here <laughs> you're yeah. just watching yeah and so i took her to the, the restaurant five guys mm-hmm. and uh we were vibing really well everything was going well and then she like i said something that i thought was really funny like i thought it was gonna land 100 percent, and she was silent for the rest of the night it was what like did you say dude it was it was something about like it was about OnlyFans and I think it's my new my new Bumble bio is uh I support I follow OnlyFans because I support small businesses uh-huh. and I said it to her as a joke because she was thinking of starting an OnlyFans yeah. and like oh so you guys hadn't you guys hadn't meet yet no we had we were like we were just talking at five guys and she was like telling me she's like yeah I think I might start an OnlyFans soon okay and I like I made the joke and she just it was just smiles to just pissed. And then so it just it completely killed the mood, cause she was she wasn't doing it with like her body. She was doing it with like her guitar skills or something. It was like she wanted to do an OnlyFans yeah, to promote like, her guitar playing. Yeah, is she like is she amazing at I, fucking guitar? She was she was really good. I'll give her that. She who, was really yeah, fucking good at it. I've seen people who try to like promote like they try to do OnlyFans, but like rather than like selling their bodies or shit, they're selling like. Like, just dumb shit, like, yeah. whether it's, like, um, fitness stuff or, like, whatever their talents may be. But it's kind of just, like, you, with that, if that's the case, you kind of have to, I, at that point, just open a fucking YouTube that's channel or something. It's free. And the people are learning. They don't have to pay for it. Yeah. Some kind of just, like, guitar. Yeah. Like it was, it was a weird kind of, like, 
Whoa, moment. And so the vibe of the night was just the vibe kind of- just died, and I just drove her home, and we we like we didn't kiss at the end, we like hugged, mm-hmm. and it was like a weird hug. Yeah. And then she got home, and I think I drove home as fast as I could. I was like, I You're gotta like, get this, this night is over. Yeah. Awkward. Yeah, yeah. The talking phase. We're going back to talking phase. How would you establish the "what are we" question? Because girls always wonder that. Yeah. But I feel like that's something that the guy has to bring up. I mean, no. It it kind of is. Yeah. I mean, back then it one hundred and fifty percent was mm-hmm. the. It was like the guys always had to do like everything so the certain things yeah. you know what i mean and then now with everything kind of expanding and opening up to a lot of possibilities it can be a, a, like a girl has asked me in the past she's like are we dating what are we and do you feel awkward when that happens because no. there are times where well, like there's some like i was definitely caught off guard but yeah. it wasn't like like it wasn't like oh i don't know what the fuck because you know i feel like mean? when you ask that it's kind of just like now you're put on the spot you're put on the spot yeah and then you can you can either say something wrong, hurt the bitch's feelings, yeah, exactly. or like say something right and end up being like cuffed up. Yeah. And like I feel like that's that's a, a question that's very just like, oh fuck. Yeah. You know. It definitely is. It definitely is one of those like oh fuck moments. And mm-hmm. like I think any relationship where like even if a guy says it, like if I say we've been hooking up for like mm-hmm. a month. Yeah. And then I'm like, hey, I really like your personality. You're gorgeous can what are we like are we exclusive or whatever fuck i, I don't know what i mean i feel like oh my god that put me on such a spot i would probably be like let's go get dinner and talk about exactly, this or exactly. something because i need well i mean it's kind of like i kind of want to know like well where your head is at yeah kind of like well i don't know like is this something that you want to exactly. like pursue like that's if someone i've never had anyone ask me that but I mean, do you think you should ask them, or do you think it's just like automatically? Because there are times where, like, well, we, I'll, I'm sure you too. Like, we'll be talking to like people, and mm-hmm. we don't even establish anything. It kind of just ends up happening mm-hmm. itself, I'm and so I'm kind of just like, I mean, it's the point where I'm kind of like, where everyone's we're adults, mm-hmm. we know, like, we're not dumb. Yeah. Like, we don't need to be like, well, you mean my girlfriend? We, my, we don't need to do all that. Exactly. I feel like the more that you talk, and if you just you you see where things are going, yeah. you kind of pick up on things like. And you kind of just become together, or do you, or do men want like an established? Because I have this theory that if you don't give them a, like what we are, yeah, they're gonna keep thinking like we're just talking, and I can still whore out, you know. Well, there there are definitely yeah. Let's do this. There's definitely <laughs> some, <laughs> there's definitely some times where I'll be talking to a girl, mm-hmm. and she'll be like you know giving me hints like yeah like I'm just gonna stay in like you can come over if you want yeah, and it's a total like okay yeah she thinks we're a thing, so I should probably start thinking that we're a thing. Okay. Or, like, I'm going to hurt her feelings. You know what I mean? And then there's and sometimes... You know, what if that's not something that you're ready to do? Dude, I don't... Sometimes... How do you break, how do you break her little heart? Because you just let the bitch on so much. Exactly. And then it's to the point where it's like, you're like, fuck, I don't know what to do. Uh, I mean, I kind of do the ask for forgiveness before permission first. And kind of, like, break it off what really... What the hell is like, that? You know the saying where it's like, like, say you're not allowed to do something. And you just do it. And then you forgive yourself. Like you ask your parents for forgiveness later rather than asking them for permission because it's like you okay, know so they're what, gonna say what no, exactly you know what is I mean? in that situation in that, dude, what are you gonna I'll, be doing that you need to ask a forgiveness I'll, for if 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 she thinks that we're a thing okay. and i definitely don't i'm breaking it off kind of like not harsh okay. but like to the point like i'm letting her know i'm like hey i'm not ready to be in this sorry if i led you on to the point where you thought this could be a thing. I really like your personality, but right now it's not a good time. So I is that always true? Because I no, feel not like- at all. Sometimes I hate the person. I like sometimes she's a <laughs> terrible person to talk to. Yeah, and it's just like you say something that's kind of mean, kind of nice, just so say she changes her personality gets a little better. The door's kind of open. You know what I mean? Okay, you're you're cracking it open a little bit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There's still a chance for someone to like, go in there and see what's up. So like when guys say like I'm not ready for a relationship. Mm-hmm. The with you is silent. Mm-hmm. Is that true? Sometimes. I mean, if say say I'm dating this girl, and then the perfect woman is just right there. And do you see? That's what I hate about the talking phase. Is because you guys, the talking phase is super dangerous because yeah. you guys aren't like you guys aren't like a label. You guys exactly. aren't anything, and so like that gives them options Mm -hmm. and so whenever i'm talking to someone and i feel like it's going somewhere i'll usually just like i'll put it in my head that we're exclusive yeah that way what if anything happens then you're just pissed automatically and then you can no 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 no, not not necessarily that but kind of just like like 
let's say we don't work out yeah i'll know that i did everything right on my okay there client, you go okay. you know and so like, yeah, i won't feel because i feel like if we're in the talking phase and we yeah. never establish anything and i'm so like going around whoring out just like doing this and then things don't work out i'll yeah. be like oh my god was it because i was being a slut and like not giving him my full attention mm-hmm and then I'll have to feel so guilty and I'll be thinking like what if I had like been exclusive and like this and that but I feel like guys don't think it like that way you know because guys see it as I'm talking to this girl things are going great she's kind of chill but like I'm still like we're just talking so yeah. I'm still gonna fuck other bitches and I feel like when they're doing that they're taking less attention on oh, the main bitch 100%. and then that kind of just makes her feel away like yeah. maybe he's not interested yeah. because he's not talking to me as much he's not engaging as much yeah. but He's just entertaining other bitches. Exactly. And so I'm always telling guys, like, we will never get to, like, this part if you're still doing this. Yeah. Because if you're still entertaining other people and, like, giving them the time, we're never going to get to here. Yeah. And, and like, the get, end goal is to get to there. Yeah. And guys are really bad at multitasking. So it's like... They really are. Like, yeah. they'll slip up. But... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so like, I'm yeah. kind of just... I, I, I'm kind of thinking, like, at what part, like, when do you make it... Like, when do you bring it up and just, like, let them know, like... Because it, when you're in the, the talking phase, I hate... This is why I don't date. Yeah. Because I hate the talking phase mm-hmm. so much. Like, I always tell guys, like, if you want to, like... Like, let's just be together. That's it. Like, I hate the talking phase. I hate, like, knowing what are we. Yeah. And so, like... I, when do you bring it up to the girl, like, hey... Like, we're, think- we're definitely moving somewhere. Like... Yeah. And in a way that doesn't scare her. Yeah. I think if the guy's confident in himself he should be the one to say it Mm -hmm. because i i'm very kind of like head on a swivel a little bit of my adhd and everything i i kind of can't focus on one thing at once and so if there's a girl that i'm really into and i'm talking to like three other girls and i know that there could be something with her yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna ask her i'm gonna be like hey let's be a thing Mm -hmm. because once i've established okay, we're actually exclusive, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. I can block all the other girls out and then it could just be me and her. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, it's, she's like, no, what the fuck are you talking about? And Wait, so teach the girls to say no? Because I yeah. feel, I always feel like if a guy brings that up, she's going to be like, oh my God, fuck yeah, like, yeah, yeah. let's do it. I mean, I, I don't know if I ask it a little too early or a little mm-hmm. too late. How, often, well, how long do you wait? Like, when is the, pro- like, one weekend, three days in, four days in, two days in? The night of? Like... <laughs> I'd done it the night of and it did not end well. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... I don't know. I normally do like a month or two months that, before like that, asking if they want to be exclusive. Because then it gives you time to talk, time to like actually understand each other. That is, I feel like that's way too long. Because I is feel like it? two months and you guys should already be a couple. Because it's kind of like this. It's the talking phase where like you guys are keeping your options open. Yeah. You guys are exclusive where you guys are like we're like testing the waters yeah. together and doing that. And then there's that's there's the third one where it's kind of just like we're together now. Yeah. I feel like waiting two months. <laughs> I feel like waiting two months to be exclusive is just yeah. way too fun. At that point, it's kind of just like, we're already together. Yeah, Owen. exactly. What the fuck exactly. are you talking about? We're already sleeping in each other's bed. Why is it, yeah. Dude, I ain't no sex guru because I've definitely messed up in the past, but I know that, I mean, sometimes it's fine if it's like a month because it's like she may be seeing other guys. And she, because most of the time that I talk to a girl, mm-hmm. she's talking to two or three more guys. Oh and it's God. like, like I need to, it's kind of a competition where it's like, I need you to You know be, it's happening. Yeah. You need to Because like, me and her are doing the same exact thing. Okay. I'm talking to two or three girls. She's talking to two or three guys. I need to be the best guy that she's talking to. And she needs to be the best yeah. girl that I'm talking to. Yeah. And I, it kind of takes a month before, okay, I think that I've done enough to be the alpha of all the people that she's talking mm-hmm. to. To the point where she'll hang out with me more, yeah. or every every time, I'll be like, "Hey, let's go, let's go get food." She'll yeah. be like, "All right, I'm down." And so, when during the talking phase, are you like aggressive with like the, the talking? Like, because I know some guys is kind of just like, girls would think like, "Oh, he's not that interested because he's not responding as much." Yeah. And I always think of it as kind of just like, ladies, if he wants to, he would. If he wa- if he if he wants to, he would. If he wants 100%. to, he would. And so like when a guy isn't responding too much, is could it is it because he's actually really busy or is it because he's just not interested? Because I always think to myself, like, yeah, people have things to do. Yeah. Guys are busy. Yeah. 
but I feel like if he really fucked with you, like, yeah. he would make the fucking time. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely, there's definitely, like, all those, like, videos and memes of, like, guys playing Call of Duty and, like, their girls ring him and, like, he, like, won't answer because he's gaming. Dude, it's so easy to, like, stop what you're doing, send a girl like, yeah. a little nice Snapchat, be like, hey, you're kind of cute right now. Yeah. And then just go back to doing what you're yeah. doing. But, like, there are some times where if I don't fuck with a girl as much as I, like, fuck with other girls, I'll kind of be like, all right, I'm watching a fucking YouTube video that's 10 minutes You're long. You're like, she's not that important. I'll wait until the, the video's fish, over, yeah. Like, the fish can wait. Yeah. So, but it goes down to if he wanted to. If yeah. he really wanted to, he would. Exactly. All right, that established the girl. So, like, if your man isn't responding to you as much, like, that's your fucking sign. Owen is your sign, your wake-up call, that... He's really not that... He's just not fucking with you, girl. Like, yeah. if he really wanted to, he would. And, like, oh, that's just such... We're going to break so many hearts because so many people out there are kind of just like, no, he's just busy. He's just busy. And, like... Yeah, they're normally not. They're not busy, huh? Because no. what are guys actually really doing that's so busy? Yeah, I get they work. Yeah. But, like, aside from, like, working, what are they actually doing that is so busy? I mean, you're probably making music nowadays. You're like, oh, I mean, that's all, all That's all... Rappers. Yeah, exactly. That's all what they do. What else can we establish to get out of the talking phase? Like, what would you like a girl to do on her end? Because for girls, I feel like it's really easy. You know, communication. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, bitches don't ask for much. We yeah, literally just, No, not at all. Yeah, it's, girls are simple. The standard, the bar is solo. For, for guys, yeah. yeah. We literally just want attention. Yeah. Girls just fucking want attention. We yeah. want attention. We want communication. And I feel like that's all you really need to take. That's all exactly. it takes to exactly. make things work. Yeah. And so we want communication that's literally it yeah so from a guy what do you want from a girl to like let her know like oh my god oh and i love where this is going you know yeah i don't know i'm a big i'm a big like physical touch kind of guy okay and so like like i went on a date to newport like two or three days ago mm -hmm. and you know we went to the beach whatever whatever and i got like hit by a wave that was pretty big mm -hmm. and she like you know grabbed me and i was like oh shit i see where this is going you know what i mean <laughs> And then <laughs> she grabbed you, and you were like, <gasps> "Yeah, I was like, oh my god, oh, the fuck is somebody this? like touching me? This is crazy." <laughs> and so yeah, it's just I don't know. I it's different with many people, but yeah. uh, I say basically the same exact thing. Communication, that, just that communication. Because the talking want. phase is usually a it's like it's always through like text, you know. So yeah. like it's always established there. So I feel like when it comes to that's kind of just like. I feel like words of affirmation could be a good one. 100%. Reassurance, kind of mm -hmm. just like, oh, I like talking to you and all that. And I, the talking phase well, is like that, dude. When you, sorry, ma'am, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I when, thought you were talking about the burp. I was when, like, oh, no, you're no, fine. When, but thank you. You're so funny. <laughs> when, when I go on a date with a girl, mm -hmm. the best text to get at the end is, "Hey, I had so much fucking fun with you." I love hanging out with you. Let's do it again. That, that and here's the dude, thing. Ego just goes. So you like that, right? One hundred percent. Girls don't like giving that. Yeah, I know. It's annoying. and it's it's so fucking because it's kind of just like they don't want to come off like I want to say desperate, yeah, but kind of just like I don't know why bitches do this. Like yeah. I let me try to think from like my inner female. It's because like when I talk to guys, I'm very aggressive with it. Like mm -hmm. how I if how I'm feeling, I'll let I'll let it be known. Because to me, I don't like wasting time, and I feel like all these little games were literally wasting time. Mm -hmm. So mom was just very like. Shit's with the fucking point. But, like, all my friends, I'll see them behave a certain way. And I'm kind of just like, girl, just be, like, straight up. Yeah, and they're exactly. like, no, I don't want to. So I'm trying to, like, understand, like, why bitches do the things that they do. Yeah. But, I mean, girls don't like doing that. And I, it's embarrassing because I don't know why. And it's, like, I've had so many friends, along with, like, the whole, like, text marinating and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. they do all this shit. And I'm like, why are you doing this? Yeah. And I don't know why. Why do you think girls do that? Is it because, like, they're shy of, like... I think it might come down to, like, they're scared. Or they might yeah. come off too strong, and that might scare you off. I think that's it. I, mm -hmm. There's a perfect example. A couple days ago, I was hanging out with one of my old friends. Mm -hmm. And she was texting this dude. And she was like, it's been four hours, and yeah. he hasn't responded. Do you think I should send him another snap? It's like, fucking, Yeah. Like, yeah. it, what's, what's the worst? Did he, what's did, the he, worst? did he open the snap? He did. He opened it. And, and then, he ignored it. Yeah. And, and you guys, this is going back to if he really wanted to, he would. Exactly. If and he really like, liked her, he would have responded. Yeah. And it, I was like, fucking do it. Yeah. What's the, what's the worst that's going to happen? You you missed out to have six months of weird sex with this skinny white skater dude. Like, <laughs> you're chilling. Like, what is the worst that can happen? I Maybe... It, Literally, he yeah. doesn't respond. And then it's like, okay, he obviously maybe. is super busy saving yeah. seals 
in the ocean or he just doesn't like me yeah like maybe he's maybe maybe here's what i'm thinking maybe she's thinking like oh my god i really liked owen things were great yeah. i feel like if i come off too strong like i might miss my shot with owen yeah but i mean oh my god this is perfect after meeting a girl right then and there can you establish whether you want to be with her or not because if i meet someone i go on a date at the end of the night you can tell I can tell. 100%. Do I want to continue? Like, do I want to have a future with this person? Do mm-hmm. I want to continue pursuing this person? I know right away. But some people, they like to be like, I mean, I don't know. I need to, like, go when I feel more dates. I need yeah. to hang out with this person more. Can you, by the end of the night, after one date, know if you want to pursue this person or not? 100%. 100%. It's, it's the easiest thing. It's when I... I kind of have veered away from it later, but, like later in life but my kind of philosophy was like you don't kiss on the first date so you get there and the main date is just to get to know the person because you're obviously attracted to her okay like physically yeah or like visually yeah you're like she's banging but now this extended amount of time is to get to know her personality get to see oh is she a stone cold bitch or (laughs) is she like a very warm-hearted person and so that's why i kind of had the little like don't kiss on the first date. Don't do anything on the first day because at the end of the day, if you didn't like how the date went, mm-hmm. then it's very easy to break it off because you guys didn't do anything that was as intimate yeah. as like you guys got food together. Like, yeah. Yeah. So with that being said, is there ever like, can you, cause I mean, so many people, things are different for me, yeah. you know, but for like, I feel like the cis people, bitches with like pussies and stuff. Mm-hmm. A lot of the times, because for me, it's different. A lot of times guys will be like, ah, I don't know if I want to be with, I need to test the waters out. Let's hook up first. And yeah. I'm like, no. But a lot of the times with like cisgender people, they'll mm-hmm. go on a date and then they'll hook up and then that becomes a relationship. Yeah. I don't know how anyone can do that. Like, it's so weird how like, because I guess sex is just such a big thing now. Yeah. And so like people want to like see if the sex is good. Mm hmm. And then that will determine exactly if they want to pursue anything with them. Yeah. Because so many guys are like, I've gotten to know like great ass girls, but then the sex is whack and I got to yeah. leave. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so sad. Like, does yeah. their personality not mean anything anymore? Exactly. And so like, are you the type to be like, do you, do you think you would want to ever like fuck in the first night and then like, you know what? Like, do you see yourself even being that person kind of just like judging the Where, rest of just based off I'll, of sex? Dude, based off of sex, not at all. Because I personally know that i have ups and downs when it mm-hmm. comes to sex yeah and it might just be like an off night you know what i mean it really yeah. it, it might just be a bad day but it's that's that's kind of that's bad that's that's something that kind of goes against the little moral code a little bit where it's like it's like dude the sex doesn't have to be because sex, sex i feel I, I feel like this goes down to like which kind of guys you're talking to yeah. also i feel like if it's like a really dirty guy he's yeah. gonna be like no we gotta have sex exactly first. exactly and that has a time where like the girl will kind of just like want like you can t- yeah tell. she'll she needs a little like release no 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 uh, like, oh, like on the oh. <laughs> like on the date oh yeah, yeah. like is there ever time where like the girl kind of like do you ever pick up vibes that you kind of just want to fuck 100 percent what are those vibes i want to know because oh my a god a lot of physical touch oh a lot of physical touch okay, okay. like like to the point where it's like all right we're making out on the beach there's people around like okay. let's go someplace a little more private but uh two days ago i got invited to go to this girl's uh, apartment it was like 2 a.m okay uh, and i, I mean, was that's like, kind of like that's a given it's well, fucking yeah, it's no, 2 a.m yeah, yeah, like yeah. you know it's just gonna like yeah. go down at yeah. 2 fucking a.m yeah but i was like my my stupid brain was like oh i'm just gonna take a nap but yeah we ended up having sex oh, you went over to take a nap Oh, that was the plan, man. I mean, that's what I did on my birthday. So my birthday, I was like literally a month ago. And this guy, I was kind of just like, it was like, so it was the 17th, my birthday is the 18th. Yeah. So at 12 a.m. when it just turned the 18th, I was like, oh my God, come over. Let's take a bubble bath. Yeah. Because I was like, I thought that was so cute. Like the idea of just kind of like taking a bubble bath together for the first time, two strangers bathing in like the most vulnerable state ever. Because when you're in the bath, you're like really vulnerable. So I was kind of like, this is so fun. And so we took a bubble bath together, and then I told him before he came over, I was like, listen, I don't want to have sex. Like, I know it's my birthday, but trust me, I'm not that kind of girl. I am that kind of girl. Yeah. And so, like, <laughs> I, I he came over, and, like, we took a bath, and, like, obviously he's, like, touching me and stuff. And then it was cute. And then 
he hit me with a let's get out of the water and i'm like fuck like we're gonna end up having like some adult play right now yeah. we ended up having sex but then like i told uh, and it's funny <laughs> like like what the fuck what? Right? <laughs> like i had no idea but yeah. the funny thing was he pulled a con- like when i was like when we we're about to like have sex yeah. he reached for his pants and he pulled out a condom yeah and i was like ah why did you bring that i told you we weren't gonna have sex yeah. and i was so mad at him yeah i feel that and he was like listen you invited me over at 2 a.m yeah. like of course we're gonna have sex and i was like i know but like now i feel like it was yeah, like an obligation kind I of mean, thing that's kind of what i did i i went to the gas station i got con- so, con- so- i got condoms and coffee so on her on the way over on the way over i gassed up my car got condoms and coffee mm-hmm. and i looked at the cashier dude and he was just giving me a nod he was like because you're like listen it's fucking late i need to sit yeah, the fuck up <laughs> exactly tell me some fun sex stories you have well the first time very first time i Lost, losing your virginity losing virginity okay uh it was in the virginity back of stories a car are always the best it was, i lost my fucking virginity to lil wayne beat that shit like the song okay. beat that I was shit like, little was playing. Wayne? No, 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 no. Yeah. Like, oh my God, like beat the crazy. shit was playing by Lil Wayne. Okay. It was the most ghettoest song ever, and I'm so upset that I lose. I lost my virginity to that song. It could have been something more romantic. Yeah, just fucking beat the shit by Lil Wayne. All right. Well, I lost my virginity in a McDonald's parking lot. That's not as bad. It is in the back of a car. I'm six four. The girl was six feet tall. So it was two behemoths in the back of a fucking sedan. <laughs> yeah. And it was her dad's car. And her dad was the police chief of our town. And so we were like going at it. And I heard someone walk by. And so I put my head up and I fucking shattered their sunroof. Like, the, was it like the, the, the modern cop cars that you see? Or was it the big? Like, it was band? like it was like his like detective mobile. So it was like. That shit is so small. Yeah. And so I shattered the sunroof. And I kind of like looked around. And I was like, "Oh, kind of killed the mood." Uh huh. And then so like we kept on going because the sunroof was in the like the driver passenger seat, and we were kind of in the back a little bit. Mm-hmm. And so we're like, "All right, might as well finish." So we finished, and then I left my fucking wallet in her car, <gasps> and so I had to go back like the next day at like three a.m. in the morning and be like, "Yo, kind of need my wallet. Sorry for the damage." And I kind of like dipped out of there. Did her dad say anything? No, not at all. That's her dad's c- car, right? Yeah. Her dad didn't know. I think she said like someone threw a brick at her or something. She covered my ass. How the fuck does one go about breaking a sunroof? That shit's hard glass. Yeah. Strong. That's nitrogen. that's like the. Oh my god, that glass is so fucking strong. Yeah. You must have been really terrified. Dude, I was freaking the sh- fuck out. It was no, no, no. Like you must have been so terrified to where you had to get up that fast. Oh yeah, hearing someone. Well, I because we it was you know sex in the public place is kind of like which is always fun. This is a tad illegal, but is it? Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. <gasps> That's why in like all the horror movies, whenever like there's like two teenagers in the back of the car having sex, they always think a cops there because it's like you can't have sex in a public space wait i didn't know that was Ill- I, I knew it was kind of like illegal to be like like full on public public like yeah. fucking behind a bush but yeah. i never knew like in your own car was illegal that's your own space yeah, it's kind of like a, it's i don't think it's like illegal legal like all right you guys are gonna jail but it's illegal like come on man stop fucking this girl in the car you know what i mean like you, oh my god that's <laughs> i did not know like yeah, car sex like, is illegal yeah. that's my favorite thing to do i I don't like it just because of... I mean, yeah, yeah you're big. Yeah. But, like, to me, it's just so, like, you're forced to be in this tight little area. It's yeah. just so intimate. And, like, oh, my God. It just, it's just all the adrenaline of, like, we can just get caught anytime. Yeah. Like, I fucking love it so much. It's, like, the best. And, like, I love... I remember I've, I've had so many cars. I, I got fucked in a Mustang once. There you go. We went out to dinner. We had Italian. Went to an art gallery right after. Met up with, like, my... um my 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 biology teacher oh. because the art the art thing you fucked your biology teacher oh my god no no oh, no, no, okay. no 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 oh my god no 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 oh my god i oh. wish you know oh. he could get it for sure but the art gallery was hosted by my school okay so a lot of my teachers went there mm-hmm. now i was 17 and he was kind of like i want to say he was like 26 oh, okay. i know <laughs> i know this is so bad illegal <laughs> very illegal yeah, yeah. you know but and it just was a smidge, just it a was smidge. so funny because like my teachers like knew that i was like dating older yeah. men they they knew i would talk about it i was really open in school kind of just like oh yeah how to date with this guy blah blah he does this for a living yeah. 
any guy that's 17 year old go, any guy that a 17 year old is on a date with shouldn't have anything to do for a living you know like exactly. they're a fucking minor and exactly. so they all knew that I like to date older men. And so, like, we went to the art gallery, and then... We went to Italian first. There you go. And then went to the art gallery. And then later, a lot of my teachers were there. And this man was so hot, I made him wear a suit. <laughs> I made him, like, suit the fuck up. I made him wear a suit to look extra, like... Because I knew my teachers were going to be there. Yeah. So I was like, all right, Elena, this is your chance to flex this fucking man. Like, look hot, bitch. And so I did. We both wore, like, nice, like, outfits and attire. Mm-hmm. We met with, like, the teachers, and then we went to go back in his car, and we, you know, went behind, like, an alley, and then we had sex, and, you know, I was uneducated. I didn't know the anal protocol. Yeah. You know? I still don't. I'll tell you. (laughs) I can't not. I need to stop telling everyone the anal protocol. I just can't. I've done it so many times already, but we had Italian food that that night. That just sounds like it doesn't go with anal. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah. So we had Italian food before. And we're in the back of a Mustang. He drove a Mustang. There you go. So the back of it is just so damn small. And then, you know, we're fucking, it's steaming. Mm-hmm. And it starts to smell. And <laughs> I'm so embarrassed telling this story because he goes to UC Berkeley and everything now. But there so it starts to fucking smell. And then I remember before I left, I stole like the, um, the Italian rush. I stole like these, those, you know, those fabric towel, ta- fabric napkins. Yeah. It was just a thing. I don't know why. I was like, steal the one. Just, Lena, just steal one. And now I knew it was the angels on my shoulders being like, it's going to get messy, bitch. Get one. It's so like, grab the towel. And like, it's getting so fucking messy. We're li- he's in a suit. Like, I'm in a dress. Yeah. And things get messy. And then, oh my God, the smell. Girl, the fucking smell. I have never felt so humiliated in my entire life. And so we go to the bathroom. We go to like, 70, we go to 7-Eleven, we're like in the restroom, he's wiping himself, and I'm cleaning myself. And like, we're both in there together, so we're yeah. kind of just like looking at each other, like this bright ass fluorescent lighting. Like, I'm so sorry, this just happened. Yeah. And then he took me home, and I literally wanted to throw myself off the bridge. And like, it was just so bad. You know, like, ah! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so embarrassed telling this story. Like, I'm getting shivers, but have you ever had anything like that happen to you? Like, any dirty, like, sex where, like, there was there was one time it's not dirty it was just it was very physical and it was just i didn't know what i was signing up for but uh i went over to this girl's house at like three o'clock and she was like it was it was in high school and she was like yeah like just climb through the window my those parents, are always the best sex yeah, like the, sex are the best when you shouldn't be having it. yeah exactly and so mm-hmm. i was like all right this is gonna be nice so like I woke my parents up. I'm like, yeah, I'm going for a jog, and they're like, all right, shut the fuck up. And then so I left and climbed in through her window. We got in bed. We started having sex, and then her fucking mom woke up, uh-huh. and so we had to be quiet. And I was like, okay, like let's be quiet. She was like, no, like she's like start like fucking me even harder so like she can hear. And I'm like, so that's definitely not the plan here. <laughs> and so. She, like, she gets on top of me, and she starts riding me, and it's, like, she's fucking moaning. And I'm, like, yo, dude, stop. So I go to, like, cover her mouth, and then she starts choking me. And I know, like, girls like to be choked and everything and everything. Yo, I do not, okay? And so she did that, and my, like, all right, this is pleasure, turned into, oh, this is fucking torture right here. Yeah. And I was just not enjoying it, and I was, like, fuck, I got to be here till like, the cleaning ladies fucking come. And then, Wait, why? Because, like, I couldn't leave because her mom was awake the entire night. After she woke up, like, when we first started having sex, uh-huh. she didn't, like, she was outside, like, she thought someone had come in. And she was right. Someone had come in, was fucking her daughter. And it was so like. So she knew you were there. She was like, she, like, had a suspicion that I was there. Because she was okay. like, why is this fucking Subaru just, like, hanging out in front of our driveway? I was like, yeah, it's mine. Oh, God, this is. And it was just is- like. I don't know why, but this story is so arousing to me because kind of just like I'm trying to like imagine everything, and it's just like the idea of just like a daughter upstairs yeah. getting pounded by a fucking six foot four man. <laughs> like, what would you even think as a mother? Like, that's my girl. Right? Like, like, what the fuck? Are you winning, son? Like, but, oh my god, I love that. I love just like I love sneaking around. It's yeah. just so fun and like just. So what did she ever do? Like, did, how did you leave? Did you climb back out the window? So or? I waited until the mom and dad went to work. She passed back they didn't, out. They didn't was, check in on her? No, no, no. Because her, she was like, if the doors close, they don't come in. Because I might be, like, masturbating. I was like, oh, that's a good and reason. And was it, was it locked? It, yeah. 
it was it was locked and so i'm like trying to find the courage to like i gotta get the fuck out of here i hear a knock on the door it's the cleaning ladies and so i'm like all right now's my chance so i waited until the cleaning ladies left i kind of just ran down the stairs i tried to like figure out where the fuck i was in the house Mm -hmm. was she awake she was passed out i had i had a dip i couldn't talk to her anymore it was like kind of like a you're like i don't want to be here. yeah i was like i'm so fucking tired did you look at her differently after oh 100 percent, 100 percent. after you nutted 100 did, or did you not well nutted? well the post clut narr- the post nut clarity is always there you know what i mean where it's like what the fuck am i doing with my life <laughs> this is i i can clean up a dead body in so much more time than it took me to do this like this is terrible yeah but it was also like oh my god like this girl tried to kill me as we were having sex she was like like she wasn't like cute choking me she mm-hmm. was like oh like you're gonna fucking pass out choke and i was like that's kind of so she just wanted her mom to hear that she was having sex or something i think so i don't know i haven't talked to her after that is that like a kink of hers might be because i feel like that definitely is like a little bit of kink of mine like whenever i had like guys over yeah i would like have sex and like actually like shake the floor of it just mm-hmm. so they knew like their daughter's getting pounded yeah because like i don't know it's just that was that was always so fun to me kind of just like yeah they know what the fuck's happening upstairs because like whenever i bring guys over they always meet my parents yeah because like like they have to walk to the front door exactly. and like, and, like the, my parents are always home and so i love when we're upstairs and they hear and they just know like oh my god i just met this guy now he's like pounding my daughter up there like mm-hmm. and then like that idea of them knowing that and then like them leaving and just being like all right well bye i'm mm. kind of just like yeah you know what the fuck just happened yeah, you know yeah. that that happened i had this weird ritual where i'd always bring a girl over for thanksgiving why and i feel I, like that's i don't like- know i just brought it, like one girl came over one day and it, I, it was thanksgiving and all of our families like all like our friend group kind of get up and we do a like a little turkey bowl so we all play football for like four hours before okay. having a little like friends and family size gathering for uh thanksgiving and so everybody would always bring somebody over so if it was like one of my friends he would always bring over his another like dude or like they'd always bring over their friends because Mm -hmm. they don't know how to communicate with people yeah and so i would be like all right i'm gonna fucking one up them i'm gonna bring a girl and so i brought a girl (laughs) and it was super funny because when she first met my parents my sister called every girl that i met or that she met a fucking whore and like this was the one girl where she was like oh she like seems like a really nice girl it was the one girl that was like a super fucking whore like like i was like <laughs> i was on the couch like just chilling right here and she was like basically half on me like kissing my neck and at family thanksgiving at family dinner. thanksgiving all the parents are just looking at me like all the dads are just like uh-huh you know what i mean and all the moms are just like fucking i hate this kid and so we go upstairs and she starts giving me head the door is wide open and i'm like hey maybe we should close this and so she's giving me head and i hear footsteps coming up and i fucking pick her up and literally throw her across the room to where like no one can see her and then like people come in and i like look normal and they're like where is she i'm like oh she's in the bathroom and whatever whatever and like they leave and it was a total like hide and seek kind of game of like all right can we have sex uh, with people like knowing that we're having sex, uh-huh. but not actually seeing that we're having sex? And it worked. Yeah, we ended up fully busting. And then I went downstairs, and there was one dude, and he was like, "You bust?" I was like, "Yeah." And then we dapped up and everything. Oh my god, that is so like stories like that. Oh my god, that's like that story was so arousing. I think much more than like the sneaking into the girl's bedroom, only because that one was like there was family. There. Yeah, there was was there grandmas there and everything there, my grandma i brought her in and my grandma was like oh is this the one that you introduced a couple days ago completely different girl <gasps> and everybody how many guys are you bringing over Dude, i was owen was whoring out a little bit no you can't you can't be doing this owen because bringing girls home is like well to me it's kind of like thanksgiving and like all oh, that's that's kind of just like well for me like for like hol- holiday dinners so it was very like family only yeah like we it was strictly family yeah. so like when you bring someone home yeah it has to like matter yeah well so that's what it was where it would be on actual thanksgiving mm-hmm. only families yeah but then like my grandma would stay in my room and i'd sleep on the couch or whatever yeah. and then the next day everybody comes or it'd be like like my mom's birthday is on december 20th mm-hmm. and so we we would all have like a white elephant birthday yeah so we'd all get like gifts like dildos and shit like that and we would just like send it like i got sex pills you're driving to you're driving all the way to colorado to try sex with some girl 
yeah <laughs> yeah like not just sex bitch like yeah. sex on sex pills yeah i don't know i've always i've always laughed because I, like i get my best friend uh i get his dad like the gas station sex pills do those work i haven't asked so, him but <laughs> those sex pills they aren't viagra huh they're no, kind of just yeah. like because i heard that viagra you have to actually be prescribed yeah these are just kind of sex pills that like help stimulate and some shit yeah and so that's why i'm kind of scared because i was looking at the reviews on amazon which is fucking hilarious and one dude was like dude i got the biggest fucking headache i was throwing up i had shivers and then he like he gave it two stars and then right below is like five stars and he's like yo it fucking worked great i'm also 75 and it's like shit i'm not 75 yeah so it might not work that great so going back to the whole thanksgiving dinner yeah. thing i guess white people just bring home whoever well it's it's funny because we're actually a very diverse family i'm mixed uh-huh oh yeah what were you mixed you I, were like I'm, I'm, I'm italian and black i know i look like logic i look like logic and that's what i say i say i'm i'm a logic kid where it's mm -hmm. like yeah i'm mixed but i look like a straight cracker okay so and, <laughs> and so like my dad's my dad's light skin and then my mom's italian and so i basically just give off the vibe that's like oh, i'm a very tan white dude mm -hmm. just throughout the year but yeah so you guys just bring home wherever so you told me you brought home like different girls every thanksgiving after that yeah so i had to stop the second time i did it because my dad was like it was getting fucking out of hand but uh the next thanksgiving family thing that we did i brought another girl over and we got we both got really drunk and we had basically the same thing happened where we had sex so this time the door was closed because they knew what was going on mm -hmm. and then she left and then we started like we s talked for a little bit and then it's kind of like how so, the story goes do you just so did you feel differently after fucking her no i just it, i actually kind of i felt like i wasn't in the right mindset what do you I, mean? I, I felt like I was like, oh, I'm not doing it because I like this girl. I'm doing it because it's like a tradition now. And I'm like, it's kind of a bad tradition just be. Wait, so you brought home the same girl that you no, did last year? No, I brought year? home a different girl. Oh, okay, the second and time. And so I was like, that's, come on, Owen, get so your head the, out of your ass. Was it the first time meeting her? And then you brought her home? Yeah, or? it was. You met a girl for the first time ever and you brought her home. Yeah. And then she was totally down for that. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Like, uh, of course. Mm -hmm. Of course, because bitches love that. I mm -hmm. love. I love when guys aren't home to their family because <clears throat> it's so funny because like if it's just like if I'm meeting like my boyfriend's family that's different yeah. but there are times where like I've had guys just bring me over just because I was pretty yeah and like they wanted to just well, flex I do that all the time yeah you where, bring like, home pretty I'll bring, I'll bring home a pretty girl especially when, like when my friend's dad's there mm -hmm. and then I'll be like yeah we're gonna go hang out upstairs mm -hmm. and then like I'll look at him and be like yeah I'm better than your son and then he'll be <laughs> like yeah I know yeah and, and so, it's like, yeah. I'll do that and I'll bring yeah. home like pretty guys sometimes too like I love when I bring home pretty guys and I'm like I like when I'm hanging out with the guy I'll be like I need to stop out home to get something real yeah, quick exactly. you know do you mind meeting my parents real quick but like whenever I bring like oh my god I'm such a dumb bitch but like whenever I bring whenever I go to meet like my like my friends like these guys like parents yeah I'm like putting on a, a show yeah, kind of just like being like this ideal woman mm -hmm. that parents would love and like that ideal girl and like i love that so much because then when things when things don't work out obviously one well, because i know like yeah. this isn't gonna go anywhere so mm -hmm. i'm just gonna like have a fun night and like pretend and play games and like the, the moms always get so sad because they're like oh my gosh she was such a lovely girl yeah, exactly. and like the son gets the shit out of the stick for it but i love doing that so much but i, I can't just bring home like guys every holidays because like yeah. even my boyfriend I was like, I wanted to bring it home. My sister kind of just like, oh my God, are you sure? Like, yeah. it's family only. And like, when I asked to bring him out, like, my sister's boyfriend of like eight years yeah. still hasn't like, the, he's not like a family. He's not in the list yet. He's not in the, like, yeah. he'll come, he'll stop by yeah, for Thanksgiving. Yeah, exactly. He'll stop and say for hi. A little bit, but it's never like a full on, oh my God, bring him. It's kind of yeah. just like, it's family. And if he shows up, then we'll serve him a plate, you yeah. know? But like, my sister gets the vibe. Yeah. But that's how it is and so i'm kind of just like that fact that you can just bring home girls like that and mm -hmm. like not have it mean anything and yeah. your parents kind of just like oh it's just one of them phases that is so funny to me like that yeah. just shows like damn white people just do whatever the fuck they want basically yeah think about the talking phase right now and just think of what you hate during it i do hate when she doesn't talk you know what i mean mm -hmm. i i do i do hate when it's like very one-sided and there's the it's it's a kind of funny story but uh I was snap I was like texting this girl on Bumble and everything was going well and she was like, Yeah, I wanna do this drive in date. And I was like oh God, fucking have you been to one? No, and so I wanted to do it. Yeah. So I was like, All right, she's really cute. She wants to do a drive in, which 
every other girl just says hey you know what i mean mm-hmm. and so she obviously has kind of a personality so <laughs> just by that little sentence yeah exactly she's <gasps> gonna drive-in day like wow she's got a lot of fucking personality she's gonna go to a drive-in yeah, exactly day. and so i would like send out like i sent out a thing i was like okay give me your snap like i'll set it up mm-hmm. then i respond and it, it, like like a week later didn't respond and so i'm with the boys just playing like call of duty mm-hmm. and he one dude was like just fucking say something stupid and so i said super de duper dang yeah and then ever since then whenever i'm like drunk i'll like go in there and i'll just add on to it and so it's gotten to a point where it's like super de duper de duper de duper de get dang mm-hmm. and it's like what the fuck am i doing but at the same time it's like if she's reading this does she respond no she hasn't responded yet it's it's there dude. you there you, there you go yeah. that's your sign no i know but it's like what if you know what i mean okay she responds it's either gonna be like dude what the fuck do you want <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to be ever looking at me like owen what the fuck are you doing dude, like yeah. did you get the hint yeah i'm reading it but i'm not responding yeah. like i'm not fucking interested yeah and even if she does respond would you still be interested in someone who kind of like ignored you for that i long? think at that point i just try to make a joke out of it and be like well, like, I have the tickets to the drive-in. Like, you still want to go? You know what I mean? I mean, I feel like that's really cute. Like, if someone did that, I'd be like... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, of course we can. Like, of course we can go. Let's talk about the post-nut clarity. Okay, the post-nut clarity. I love talking about the post-nut clarity because I love seeing where a man's head is at after he's, like, done the dirty deed. Yeah, date. I mean, I think it's... I My post-nut clarity is fucking hilarious when I'm just, like, by myself jerking off is because, like, I'll nut and then I'll be like, wow... Like, what am I doing with my life? Like, this is crazy. I'm I'm 19. What am I, like... You're 19? Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with me? The last time that I interviewed was just fucking 18. I thought he was 24 or 25. Really? I thought you were 25. What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, my God. Dude. I need to stop bringing these 18-year-olds on here. 19-year-olds. What the fuck is wrong with me? I'm going to yeah, hell. Yeah, but uh, it, I don't know. It's just... It's funny because it's the idea of sex Mm -hmm. and being that intimate with someone is so much more fulfilling in the mind to me than Mm -hmm. i think the reality of it is because like i said say you're having an off day and like three seconds in you bust and you're like fuck dude like i just hype myself up i'm like oh she's about to get this monster dick she's about to get like dick down to the earth and then like in there like one pump chump and you're just like dunzo and you're like oh wow well she knew i was lying and it's like it's such a it's such like a fuck moment where it's i don't know it's like the fantasy of sex is more appealing than the reality of it dick down to the earth yeah (laughs) yeah no i get that one like there are times where like like i love like i love thinking about sex yeah it's so fun Mm -hmm. but when it comes down to doing it i'm kind of just like this isn't as fun as i thought it would be yeah exactly it's it's such a letdown and i don't know what it is like i'll just like i'll like look at a guy's pics and i'll be like oh my god i can't wait to get all up in that like touch the body do everything though and when it's actually like laying in my bed i'm kind of just like oh my god i don't know i'm just like yeah, i'm into it but like it's, I don't know. it's yeah. just not as like fun as i thought it would be yeah. and i'm kind of just like what is happening i'm not sure if it's kind of like because they're ugly no they're never uglier in person they're always prettier in person mm. but i'm kind of just like why aren't i into it yeah why i don't know you, I, you get like that i there's there's so many moments where it's like after i'll have sex with this girl i'll be like okay like that was fun. It obviously wasn't as good as I thought. And then you like, tell them that? No, no. I'm like, no. I'm Owen, always, what dude, the to, fuck? To, them, to, to the girls I like, sleep with, them, I'm always like, I always ask them because I, I'm curious. I want to know. Mm-hmm. You're like, how I, like, was that? Yeah, I was like, how's, how's my dick game? How's my hand game? You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. give me this, give me the stats. And uh, but like when I go home, I'll always have like those thoughts in my head, like, oh fuck, we could have done this. Like we could have, we could have switched it up. What and, exactly could you have done? We're like, like I'm like, oh, I could have like flipped her over, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like done something just like that no one's <laughs> ever seen, you know what I mean? Flip just her over. yeet, and the <laughs> one full flip, and then she's like, that was amazing. I'm like, yeah, I know. Oh, wow, you know just I mean? got treated like a slut. Yeah, exactly. Like, the kind of, like, what kind of like what sex do you like? Do you like like the I, passionate sex? I'm, like the I'm weird. I'm weird when it comes to it because I think of sex as a privilege. You know what I mean? Okay. It's you're you're the woman is allowing you to see her naked to mm-hmm. basically enter her. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. And so first 
goal should always be making her fulfilled before making yourself fulfilled. And that's just, that's my weird philosophy. And so, like, my main goal is, okay, I'm going to make her orgasm. Okay. I'm going to make her orgasm, like, as much as she needs to do to be able to be like, okay, now it's your turn. Now, now I can come in there, do it for 15 minutes and get Suck out. Suck shit up. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then do it without her being like, oh, that was it. Yeah. Like, I didn't get anything out of it. And so, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird because, like, I I kind of adapt to what the girls like. Like, a couple nights ago, this girl was like, I want you to fucking choke me and, like, bound my hands. Yeah. So I was and like... what, your hands? Like, bound her hands. Okay. Yeah. And so I was like, all right. Like, I'll do it. And so that's what I did. But, like, there's some girls that are like, dude, just, like, cuddle fuck me. And I'll be like, okay. What is cuddle fuck? It's like when you're, like, cuddling, but, like, you're also, like, just hitting it from the back. Are those hickeys on your neck? Yeah. Oh, and what the fuck? Why didn't you tell me? I could have literally put makeup on or, Dude, I don't know, sit you over well, on... I, I, think, I, I think could have sat you on this side. They're on both sides. <laughs> and, uh, wait, what? Yeah, they're on both sides. I could have literally... Oh, I could have yeah. literally sat you on this side, so, like, that but wouldn't now, go. But now they know I'm credible. You know what I mean? I'm a credible source. <laughs> okay. But, like, these guys are probably like, oh, this guy just got, like, punched in the neck 14 times or I something. I didn't even see that, because yeah. I, I see these two marks, and I'm like, it looks like spider bites or something. Yeah. Like, looks like a vampire just went in... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Neck. But like, basically what you did. When yeah. I saw that one over there, I was like, wait a minute, those look like straight up fucking bruises. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Who even gives hickeys nowadays? Dude, I don't know, but she was giving them like crazy and they felt nice. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, now you're. Are you a slut? Dude, I try not to be. I, I try. To, I, I say this. See, I, when I met you, I didn't think you were a slut. No, 100%. Because you don't, I, you, I don't give off the vibe. You don't give off the vibe. You Because plus, given on what you're telling me, you're kind of just like, oh my God, I like this, I like that, I like, stop with the girl. Like, usually a, yeah. a slut would be like, oh man, it's just my nut and that's it. Yeah. But I didn't get that vibe from you, so I would have never thought. And plus, given how you're talking about like first dates and stuff, yeah. I would have never guessed you were a slut. And here you are being the biggest fucking Dude. one, walking in my house with hickeys and shit. Like, yeah. what the hell? I mean, it's, I don't know, it's weird because it's like I'm not really a slut per se where it's mm -hmm. like all I care about is just like sex 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 but I'm kind of like a more in the moment kind of guy okay where it's like if if we're if we're at a bar or whatever whatever like half my attention will be on her half will be like okay let's actually like hang out with her friends whatever whatever but like once we're in bed it's 100% like focused on you phone's on silent mode you know what i mean mm -hmm. there's no jewel in my hand there's like i ain't drinking any water it's just <laughs> That's, uh, that'd be the most that the, the, the day that a man fucking takes his fucking <laughs> dude that would suck i would literally probably kick him or yeah. like just dumb out the window like that would be like the biggest yeah. that's kind of like the equivalent to like <sighs> like like a man fucking me while being on his phone yeah like that's, that's literally so, the equivalent to that yeah, that's i would like be a, so it's a big upset. no no but so how do you, do you get around i do it's it's it's, <laughs> it's weird because i do and i don't because i've been talking to a couple guys at uci you just told me you're driving to colorado to try out sex pills what do you well, mean you do yeah you're driving to a whole other state yeah how far is colorado from here uh, about even like that you just sounded so guilty 600 yeah. seven, 600 yeah. like 700 miles to try sex pills yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of crazy but uh i don't know it's kind of like i have 20 bodies that's 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 my ballpark range because owen and owen senior year of high school was a i keep slut. forgetting you're literally 19 so you yeah. just kind of finished high school huh yeah oh, i mean i'm a sophomore now in high school in college okay <laughs> i was like wait a minute i'm what? a 19 year old sophomore in high school everybody <laughs> oh my God. who knows maybe yeah. you're like a super 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 dumbass i don't exactly. know but okay so you were a slut and i was a slut senior old. year and it was like because i went to a boarding school in florida mm -hmm. and so me and the boys would just sneak out we'd go to university of tampa fucking go to a girl's dorm bang it out an hour later we'd all come out high five each other get in the car and then drive back and it was like so bad it was so like degrading and it was such a moment where it's like i love that degrading it, it was just it was weird <laughs> because it was like at that point Owen wasn't bit brained enough. Like Owen wasn't smart enough to understand that. Like, like the women have feelings. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so I was like, yeah, like they they probably want sex too, right? <laughs> and then and then like as I get older and as I talk to the girls that I had been with, mm -hmm. they were like, yeah, you kind of like a little dickhead. Like you just had sex with me and then you left and you like you didn't spend any time. And I was like, wow. 
I kind of got to stop doing that because that's yeah. obviously a bad personality trait. And so now it's more of a let's go on dates, let's do whatever, whatever, whatever. But then it's also like, all right, if there's a cute girl at a bar mm-hmm. and we start hitting things up and then she invites me to her apartment at two o'clock in the morning, mm-hmm. you're going to take advantage of that because that's a opportunity that you normally won't get. Yeah. And so fucking release some stress, guys. Do you ever go on a date expecting sex at the end of the night? No. Liar. No. I, on God, no. I don't believe you. No. Because I always like whenever a guy takes me out, he, I'm like, okay, he's probably expecting like, okay, you know what he's putting out? Is this bitch going to? Mm-hmm. You know? I feel that. And so like, you don't ever... I, I just, I just, my main goal is to try and give her as great of a time as possible. And that's okay. the whole shebang. That's the opening the door for her, letting her come in, whatever, whatever, buying her food, you know, being a gentleman, opening doors and all that shit. And, and then do you ever feel like, I, I don't at the end of the night, are you ever kind of like, fuck? I was kind of hoping. Sure, at least, no, like, not at all. I'm, I'm not. I, I'm doing it because that's how I was raised. Okay. And that's how my dad and my mom kind of taught me. I'm not doing it so I can get like reciprocation back. I mean, that's good. Yeah. See, that's why like you say things like this. Yeah, exactly. But then, but you, then I do things like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then you do things like that. Yeah, and I'm kind of just like, I can't put two and two together. Yeah. I'm trying to visualize it, but I can't. Because usually when you're one or the other, like yeah. for example, me, I'm a slut. So I don't go on dates because yeah. I'm kind of just like, why the fuck am I going to go on dates? Like, yeah. I just want dick. But you, it's over here. You're kind of like, oh, yeah, I want pussy. I'm going to do this for a pussy. But, like, on a date, I won't really work for the pussy because I yeah. kind of just like, oh, I want to, like, get to know the girls. So I'm going to just, like, you're you're juggling two things at once yeah. here, and I'm trying to keep up. But I'm really, it's... it's hey, hey, it's hard for me, to to keep up. Because okay, it, it really is hard. But, I mean, I like that, though. Yeah. Because, like, I feel like that puts a lot of, like, it, it's put a lot of, it puts less stress on the girl because... Yeah. It's stressful. Like mm-hmm. whenever I go on dates, I, like or whenever I go on dates, meeting up with guys or just inviting them over, it's stressful for me because I'm kind of just like, fuck, is he gonna be expecting something? Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, and like I don't want to like, and I always feel like the girls, like I, I want to be like, you know, I'm not looking for sex, mm-hmm. but I feel like it's always the girls who say they're not looking for sex, and then they're. 100 percent looking for sex exactly yeah and i know it because it's me i'm that girl like i'm yeah. super slutty i'm super horned up but like i'll meet up I'll, I'll talk to a nice guy and i'll yeah. be like you know what i kind of want to do things right and i don't want to have sex with him but then when he's already in my house i'm kind of just like you know what if things don't work out i should just at least fuck him right now to at least get something out of it yeah, you exactly. know because i'm kind of like what if we go home tonight and like things just the vibes aren't there yeah. like should i just fuck him right now that way if things don't work out i would have at least already had sex with him mm. you know is that ever is that ever free like that for you? Not really. It's it's weird because like my best friend, mm-hmm. that's totally the case for him. Where it's like I cuz he started the whole sex game a little late. And so his main goal is just, you know, get the nut like smash and dash. That's basically like smash the and motto. Smash dash. Getting door dick. Basically. Exactly. And I'm kind of just like I want to see how it rides out. But if it's not going anywhere, that's totally fine. Yeah. If it's like, all right, we're going to fucking cuddle, watch a movie, and, like, make out, and that's the most action I'm going to get, well, shit, that was more action than I got last night when I was just at home playing video Getting games. Getting hickeys and shit. Exactly. And so it's <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of like you take what you can get, but at the same time, like, don't be greedy. You know what I mean? I mean, that, that's smart. Yeah, like, don't be greedy. Don't be pushy. Because I feel like when you behave that way, you most likely will not get it. Yeah, exactly. Like, so many guys on Tinder that are just, like, on dating apps. Mm-hmm. They're kind of just, like, their pickup line is just something so gross. Yeah. And I'm kind of just like, oh, if he had played his cards right, he yeah. would have really, like, gotten it. And, like, so many times the guys who are kind of like, let's go out. Let's yeah. go. I want to hang out. I want to get to know you. Mm-hmm they end up getting it. Yeah. Like, I'll end up hanging out with him and I'll be like, you know what? He he behaved, mm-hmm. played his cards right. I'm gonna let him hit it. Mm-hmm. But then the guys who, like, straight off the bat are kind of just, like, super horned up. Like, you gotta put in some effort. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got a question for you. Okay, oh my god, yes. I love what, this. What? Say you match with this guy on Tinder. What's the ideal thing for him to say? Because I've gone through a lot of iterations of things where it's, like, I, at first I would just say, hey, you're really cute. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, okay, compliment. That's nice. But now I'm doing like, hey, you're fucking gorgeous. Like, upping it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And so far, that's been getting the most kind of responses. Okay. But like, I have buddies that are like light skins that are like, hey, you want a half a baby? And it's like, 
like what the fuck does that even mean and but like <laughs> he's getting he's getting responses and yeah. it's like like i don't know if i'm doing it right doing it wrong or i'm just like in the middle right yeah. here you know what i mean well i mean here's the thing it's kind of just like it all depends on different people maybe yeah. those girls are really sluts and they're like oh, yeah i want to have a fucking baby you yeah, know exactly but for me i mean i find that the guys who succeeded the most are the guys that make me laugh. Yeah. Because I personally love laughing. I think I'm the sexiest when I'm laughing. And yeah. so, like, if a guy can make me laugh mm-hmm. and have personality, I mean, it's it's really well known. Yeah. Make a bitch laugh, she'll let you hit it. Exactly. It's it's super fucking easy. Laughter's and the key to the heart. Exactly. And so, like, like you can be the ugliest fucking guy in the room, but if you're funny... Yeah. Okay, maybe not the ugliest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, like, the third cutest. You can be, chilling, like, yeah. a six or a seven, yeah. but, like, if you can make... Like, if a... It all comes down to personality. Like, yes, the initial attraction is looks, Mm -hmm. but even if you don't have that, if you come off, like, really funny and just, like, strong and confident, Mm -hmm. that would be enough to capture, like, my attention. I'd be like, you know what? Like, he he made me smile, made me laugh. Like, oh, my God, ha, you're so funny. And then from there, just, it's all about personality. Exactly. How, like, do you have banter? Like, what, like, you need to keep in mind that. Can you hold a conversation? Exactly. And on top of that, these girls, they get compliments all the, all the time. time and you're literally one of those guys that, that compliment these girls and so like i personally whenever i get compliments on dating i can kind of just look at them like oh thank you and that kind of just is it's kind of just like a thank you and then that's kind of it conversation mm-hmm. conversation dies yeah. and like there's not really engagement you're allowing to happen but i feel like if you start off with like a funny joke mm-hmm. or something well i mean i can't speak on behalf of all girls yeah. but for the most part, I love a guy who can just, like, make me laugh right off the riff. Like, yeah, that's... exactly. That's just right what, off the bat, a, a nice joke. A nice joke. If, if I'm laughing, I'm like, oh, my God, like... I'm, I'm going to remember Colin. Yeah. You know? And so I'm kind of just... Did say a Colin? Oh, my God, yes. Who the fuck is Colin? Who's Colin? I'm like, was Colin, like, a... <laughs> you see, Colin was a funny match. <laughs> I know who Colin is. Colin is the guy that I matched today, and he's our now. He's there. You go, Colin, he, dude. Colin, you're on your way. <laughs> Colin, I remember because Colin yeah. said a really funny joke today. I don't know there what it go, was. Colin. I'll have to look. But Colin said a funny joke, and then I was I, I laughed. Like I remember holding my phone and actually laughing. I felt like such a dumb bitch because yeah. I was like, this man. Like usually we laugh in our head. Yeah. But this man was so funny. He made me laugh out loud. Out loud. Yeah. Like for once, laughing out loud actually meant I was laughing out loud. Yeah. And so like. I responded and like the whole day I kept thinking about Colin because he stood out. Yeah, exactly. Even right now. Yeah. Colin. Well, I got, I, there's a girl like that on Bumble where, cause most of the times I get matched, it's normally like, hey, 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 which is fucking hilarious because mm-hmm. whenever you're on Tinder, all the girls' bios are like, don't just respond with a hey if mm-hmm. we match. And it's like, eh, but. Posture. Posture. Perfect. But uh, it's fucking hilarious she said if you could fight any historical figure who would it be who did you put i said i'd beat the shit out of helen keller she wouldn't even see me coming see now and that is like, funny that's funny that no is response. funny she did not respond okay, so but i still hold true that that is one of the funniest things because it's like it's so it's so dark it's dark humor it's so dark mm-hmm. and it's so something that no one should say to the point where it's like, all right, obviously she, this guy doesn't want to beat the shit out of Helen Keller. Yeah. You know if she's I mean? got like some sick, gross ass humor, yeah. she would love that. Exactly. But like she doesn't. Maybe she was kind of just like, oh my fucking God, what the hell? Yeah, but like, like. He didn't say George Washington. Like, <laughs> but like, I would have literally loved that. Yeah. And I would have literally taken you out yeah. to dinner and paid. Because that was hilarious yeah. and i would have been like you know what this man deserves my fucking time exactly he stood out he wasn't basic it wasn't like oh my god hey gorgeous or anything and plus let's have, a lot of times do not call girl sexy mm-hmm. i it, mean or cute they don't like cute for some reason oh uh, i mean because i i wouldn't because I'll, I'll, i've talked to a couple of, like of my friends that i used to that i've matched with on tinder mm-hmm. where we just don't have a thing so we just become friends and i'll be like yeah so when i called you cute did you like how was that? And she was. She would always be like, "Girls like something more than cute because cute is like what a dog is. Like a dog is not cute. necessarily. And that's what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah. I've been calling girls cute all my life. I don't yeah. know if that's just my San Francisco like it's kind slang. Of, it's because, kind of just like when you first meet a girl, time just like, oh my gosh, she's cute. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's kind of like what we're doing, except it's online. So it's not. I'm, I like. I don't want to be like, oh my god, you're fucking beautiful. Because like you're that's a goddess, just... and it'd be like, well, she's kind of not. She's or like, like he's just gonna be like, oh my god, he's way too thirsty for exactly. me. Exactly. He's not a bad thing. I mean, bitch is crazy, but I mean, I, 
I personally don't like when guys call me sexy. Yeah. Like, when they'll be like, oh, my God, hey, sexy. Or, like, oh, my God, you're so sexy. To me, that's kind of just, like, it's... I see that as, like, oh, my God, you're sexualizing me already. You're looking at me in such a negative light yeah. that you're calling me sexy. There's no respect for me there. Yeah. You can't call someone sexy and, expect to, and be like, you know, but I, I respect you. Yeah, exactly, but exactly. you're fucking sexy. Exactly. Like, sexy is just, like, it's it's a very adult like word it's very just like it's really it comes off really strong yeah and so i'm kind of just like you can't be calling just bitches sexy for fun and if you're trying to like get on her good side mm. i don't know maybe whores love that yeah whores <laughs> are like oh fuck yeah you know like yeah. here's like, the thing i am sexy i look sexy i i know i'm sexy but i don't like to be called sexy yeah. by men that i don't really know exactly because to me it's kind of just like that's i feel like that's a boundary kind of word yeah. like you kind of have to be comfortable like i feel like words that are appropriate could be like cute beautiful pretty but mm-hmm. sexy is kind of just like you got to be in like third date yeah, or like exactly. something you got to work your way to the word sexy and like Shooting that word sexy right off the bat, I'm already turned off. And yeah. I'm kind of just like, all right, he kind of probably just wants to fuck me. I don't see him taking this bitch. Se- I don't see him wanting to take me seriously if his first approach is sexy. It's like, yeah, you know? you're, Have you ever you're fucking a girl sexy. sexy. Has it worked? I think I called a girl sexy in like fifth grade. <laughs> so. Did that work? It did. Have no. You call- <laughs> Have you called a girl sexy on like dating apps or anything? No. Yeah. No, don't. it's. I I think I've used goddess, beautiful, gorgeous, cute. I haven't used sexy. Yeah. I should give it a try. No, no. <laughs> Don't give it a try. I mean, you can actually give it a try and see what she, bitches. Because like, maybe and she's this like, yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> or like maybe she's like, oh my god, come over. Or yeah, like, exactly. Okay, so here's the thing. I have talked to so many guys, and then guys are always telling me how they're like, oh my god, girls. Because I, I always tell guys, I always tell guys like, oh my god, guys are disgusting. They just want to fuck me. Like that's all. Like they're yeah. like all they like. The guys on Tinder are gross, you know. And then they're like you think that's bad the girls are worse Mm -hmm. and i'm like are you sure i don't fucking think so like i can't see a girl behaving this way so from a man's point of view what are the girls like on dating apps perfect uh they're fine (laughs) i mean i mean (laughs) yeah they're (laughs) cool uh, they're fine they're chilling uh i don't know they're are they gross are they kind of just like animals it's weird they're really nice they're like, like if, you know, if they're not into you, they'll just like ghost you. And that's like, all right, it doesn't matter. But like, there's only like been one time, uh, where like I've actually gotten in like an argument with a girl on Tinder. What was it about? Which is, dude, she was just like being a fucking bitch, dude. And like, like I would like be like, Hey, like you're really cute. Like we should go out sometime. And like her response was like, you couldn't pay for the food I eat. And I was like, what the fuck's going on, dude? Like, it's the first message. And, like, that's so mean. Yeah. And it's like, but, like, normally it's like girls are just like, yeah, like, let's do it. Let's see what happens. And it's like, they're very chill. Mm -hmm. But I've always wanted to see what, like, the other guys look like on Tinder. Oh, no, I'll show you in a second. Okay. Because I'm always like, I'm always like, dude, is my fucking profile, like, good enough? Yeah, I want to meet my competition. competition. There are some, the hotter guys are always in LA. 100%. But then, just like how the girls are hotter in LA, too. Yeah. But you know, none of them want to commit to anything. Exactly. So that's the fun part about LA. Like, I'll sometimes just put my like matches in LA just to be like, oh my god, like whore the fuck out, yeah. you know. But they don't ever want anything serious. It's kind of like the opposite for that in SF. What it's because you, you know the guys are more attractive when they're in East Bay and like the Oakland kind of side. Mm-hmm. But once you start going more to the island, it's just like blue hair, and it's like fucking what's going on guys you know what i mean it's like just like hardcore goth girls really yeah. and like e-girls like like some like belle delphine type shit and it's like yeah kind of cute but it's like i kind of like it's like a weird thing swiping right on those girls because it just it feels like it, we wouldn't match you know what i mean yeah we wouldn't be compatible i still want to see what happens but it's like it's still like i know she's not, i'm not gonna get a fucking like match or anything you know yeah I mean? and are they kind of just like picky or like do you guys ever match and kind of just like have you fucked one of them or well so i started talking to one and uh i love this because we're like super cool friends now but she was like yeah you should follow my instagram her fucking handle was like demon girl 620 and i was like oh so what the fuck am i doing right now and it was like just videos of like rats crawling over corpses and it was like so it was like some dark shit 
but I was like, you're, you're yeah, kidding. but she's kind of cute. So like, you're this, fucking yeah, no, no that's it, real. it was a hundred percent real. And bitch had videos that reminds me of the um, movie Unfriended. Yeah. So it, it basically was like kind of that premise. And I was like, yo, so I'm going to die. And uh, it was it was weird because we started talking she has a really nice personality, oh, but she it just, just comes down to the personality. But she just like doesn't know how to express it, okay. and so she expresses it through like all her like dark humor type shit. So having rats crawl on corpse body, like having like rats just crawl on a corpse's body, like what is that? It was, it was <laughs> like dude, it was exactly. like it was like a full on layout where it she was, was like, like I love being tickled all over my yeah, body. Yeah, it, it was like, like a full on story where it was like it was like it was like the rats getting the rats are getting craw- like crawling over dead bodies, and then like you swipe right on like her instagram and it's like a dude and he's like are you winning son and then you swipe right again and it's like a kid just watching it and he's like yeah i think i'm winning and he's like crying and it's like that shit is just i think that's fucking hilarious but uh yeah she's you know she's a little weirdo but it's like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna <laughs> she's a little weirdo dock her points because yeah. you know she has videos of rats crawling over dead but were bodies. you kind of just like this is fucking weird. yeah i was like yeah you're a cool person so being out here have you ran into a lot of like trainees on like dating apps Two. what were that what was that like it was weird because it was two very different encounters it was there was one where it was it was you mm-hmm. where you've had most of mostly everything done you know what mm-hmm. i mean you've you've got fully transitioned and then there was one where it was a girl who had it transitioned who looked like she worked out at fucking venice beach like she was bigger than me mm-hmm. she had a wig on and everything in a dress and i was like whoa like your veins are fucking 10 times thicker than mine like you're popping bro yeah and it was it was it was weird because it was like this is kind of why dating apps were made you know what i mean because it's you're not gonna find you're not gonna find love everywhere yeah. but if it's online you can find something you know what i mean <laughs> yeah and so i don't know it's pretty it's pretty cool to see that there's like more people because even in san francisco mm-hmm. it's every third swipe is, is like is like a tranny or like a transgender sorry or like fucking like oh i'm bisexual i'm pansexual mm-hmm. whatever 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 so it's more oh yeah because san fran is kind of just like yeah that's just like gay is the home yeah, yeah the home is the, the gay lgbtq hq over yeah. there yeah <laughs> headquarters yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah. have you like hooked up with one i haven't i haven't i i mean like i've hooked up with like a bisexual woman but it, okay. that's that's, that's like yeah that's that like all right me and her both like the same thing which is women also yeah so that's cool would you be open i always tell my friends Mm -hmm. that if james like if james charles was in front of me and he had his wig on i would 150 percent be down so (laughs) and i don't know i don't know if that if that is me saying that i'm like bisexual or anything or anything but i'm open to new things but at the same time, like, I'm still closed on a lot of things. You know what I mean? So, James... Tra- okay, but would you hook up with a trans girl? Yeah. Because James Charles in a wig is a 100% yes. It's 100% yes. But James Charles, that would be a boy in a wig. Yeah. However... Have you seen his cheeks, though? However... <laughs> Car. Bro. <logic> Coachella? <laughs> It's kind of crazy, man. However, a girl, a trans girl that has like work done, lo- is identify as female, looks like a complete oh, that'd woman. Hundred percent be fine, also. Okay, because I thought yeah, that- no, yeah, would it be like <laughs> I like, thought you yeah, were saying if it's just a dude in a fucking wig, a hundred percent. But if it's a woman who was born in a man's body that did everything and now she's a, like a woman and woman, nah. <laughs> That's what I was getting yeah, no, at. No, yeah, <laughs> no. Was, was like, you were like, you're like. I've thought about it, but here's this. <laughs> yeah. And you're like so like positive and you're like, but he wait, 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 before we talk about that, here's what I would do. Yeah, yeah. But this? I don't know. Yeah, no, that's, that's, why I, that's why I was kinda just like, hold on. I'm getting yeah. this logic way backwards. Yeah, exactly, because exactly. usually it's flipped where it's yeah. like a tra- fuck yeah, but a boy in a wig, I don't know. But yeah. you were so set on that. Uh, dude, because so, I know I know that's like <laughs> if I were to be bisexual or whatever the term is mm-hmm. it would be for james it charles. would be for james charles <laughs> that's that's the only that's the only dude that's the only dude it's and it's weird because like there are really cute guys out there mm-hmm. and i'm confident enough in myself and i'm secure enough mm-hmm. to be like yo jake Hall is fucking sexy yeah like ryan reynolds is a 
God. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like, I'm not going to have sex with them. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to admire them from afar, but it's like, I don't want to get dicked down by like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, no, I get. It. I mean, that's so, good though, because most yeah. guys aren't comfortable with their sexual. Life. They'll be like, "That's gay, that's yeah. gay, that's gay." Like, I'm not just like, it's one thing. It's like it's another to like, a uh, be like attracted to that and yeah. like want to get exactly. with that. But it's also another to like give credit where credit is due. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, he, like these male celebrities, they're fine ass men, yeah, and exactly. it, it doesn't. It's not a bad thing to say they're attractive. Yeah, because you know they're attractive exactly but then them giving another man a compliment is kind of just like <gasps> yeah oh, it's like no what I are you doing that's gay and it's like yeah. no it's it's normal and do you think it's usually those guys who are like that's gay are most likely a little oh 100 percent. see that's well thing. my my dad always said it because i'd always be at my friend's house and his mm-hmm. older brother would always be playing playing call of duty and be like oh that's gay that's gay that's gay and my dad would always like pull us aside and be like dude he says it so many times he's gonna be gay like yeah and sure enough, this guy's a bisexual male. And it's like, <laughs> dude, is does my dad a fortune teller? Did he just call this? Yeah. Like it's and it's it's crazy because I think it goes to the same with the, the same saying as like whenever you say like, Oh, I don't care. You actually, you actually do care, you know what oh I mean? Oh my god, I'm so guilty of that. And <laughs> I didn't think about that, but I'm always kinda like, Oh, I mean I don't care, I'm just saying. Oh, I don't care, I'm just saying. Yeah, exactly. But like it's you like, you clearly you, you care. care enough to bring it up. Yeah. I'm guilty of that. I'm yeah. very, very guilty of that. And like I didn't think about that until right now that you brought it up. Oh yeah. my god, now I need to stop saying that. I'm just gonna be like, Yeah, I totally care. I don't totally exactly. care. I low key still do. But you guys, this has been a very long episode of Elena Ron Bear Back. Thank you so much, Owen, for coming yeah, no on. I appreciate it so much. Oh, and I have donuts to go get to because I've been trying to get donuts for like ever and I'm finally getting donuts tonight. But I'll leave anything you want to plug before we go. Oh, shit, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ass don't count. Do not plug anals. Have you, have you ever done anal plugs? I've never had anal sex before. No, 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 no. Not you. Oh. Like, because you know how like. When have you, I ever shoved a, a thing? A up butt s- plug. Of someone's ass? Yeah. No, that's scary. I've, I've, dude, I, I stay away from the, what do you mean that's region. scary? I, I just, I feel, you know, so you never have, <laughs> I just, I feel uncomfortable when it's like someone's like, yo, stick something on my ass. Like, hey, man. So you never you can ha- do that to yourself. You never had a girl like, you're fucking, she's kind of like wearing like a, a butt plug foxtail? No. Oh my God. Those are things? <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Really? It's like one of my biggest, like, I love that, but I can't do that because I'd be plugging up the only hole that I have. Yeah. But like, I've seen girls where like, they'll get fucked in the pussy and they'll have like a little foxtail butt plug. So they have like a foxtail growing out of like their asshole. That's amazing. You, you should. I, I haven't ever seen that. And but it's that's... the best when the foxtail is like 100% authentic fox fur because it's so realistic and it brings foreplay to a whole different level uh-huh. and like i want to do that but if i did that I would, the only thing i could do is just crawl around because i can't get fucked you yeah. know like i'm literally plugging you're up just, my you're just, i'm meow. like i'm like just oh, look at me i'm a little fox but anything you want to plug before we go uh yeah oh. i don't know <laughs> <laughs> all right i'll plug for yeah, you all right, i'll leave cool. all his socials down below well do you want your socials out there yeah why not okay because okay. you might be bombarded with dms that's there just, we go so if that's you're okay with that because yeah. you're are you a private guy no. Okay, then I'll leave. I'll leave all his <laughs> yeah, socials. Yeah, so I'm not a private guy. Yeah, I'll leave all socials down below. Thank you for coming. Yeah, no Give problem. this podcast a big thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. We'll read them all. And until my next podcast, you guys. Bye. Deuces. 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 I was like, what did I just hear? Bye, you guys.